Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so uh, before we get started, I gotta show you guys two paintings that are dry and have been resined. First off, I will start with last video's red painting. Um, I did get a chance to resin it, so um, it dried really nice. Let's see if I can go up close. I know there's a reflection, which sucks. But um, yeah, it dried really, really well. I'm really happy with it. I think it goes this way. I don't know. I don't remember which way it goes. But uh, yeah, really rich red. Really happy with how it turned out. So that's the red piece. And then if you saw a couple of videos back, I did this beautiful um, golds and bronze and whatever's, I don't remember what I used, but uh, this piece is done and resined as well. And for those of you who were smart enough to guess, um, yes, it is for Kathleen from Cause Creations. Um, it was her birthday on April 1st. So um, I decided to make this painting for Kathleen for her birthday and also just for being who she is and you know we did go to her place in Fort Myers back in March and she was a wonderful host so I thought I would do this for Kathleen for her birthday so now that it's done I get to ship it off finally and she loves it um, but yeah so that is this is for Kathleen um, if you're interested in the red piece it is available for purchase um, email me at canalasaraco at gmail.com all right, so time is running out for the Seattle workshop. If you are interested in coming to Seattle, Washington to come and learn from me in person, that's April 27th, 28th, and 29th, you can come to Seattle, Washington and come and learn from me. There's gonna be other YouTube artists there as well. It's going to be a fun time. There is a gala dinner with a auction and a raffle. You get to win one of the pieces I'm going to create, which you're gonna see in a video, uh, I think next weekend, yeah. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's a meet and greet, the gala party, all kinds of stuff. So if you want that information and you wanna learn more, go to www.fluidartexperience.com. Okay, so that's happening in April. And then in August, I have been invited to be a part of PourCon in Las Vegas. Um, and there's gonna be a bunch of people there. Shelly from Shelly Art with her blooms. She's coming all the way from Australia. Um, lots of people are coming from all around the world. It is going to be an epic event. If you want information on Vegas, that is in the link. The link for that is in the description below as well as the Fluid Art Experience link. So check the description below my video for links and the websites, and then you can get all the information you need. Um, okay, that is it. I'm going to continue with this black series and today's colors are going to be yellow. So let me get myself set up and let's get started. Be right back. All right, everybody. So um, this is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. Now I've done red, now I'm doing yellow. I've done blues, I've done purple, and I've done pink and I've done the browns and the coppers even though it wasn't on a 14 by 14 and I've also done turquoise again like on a bigger canvas but still black base turquoise colors so I think what's left is green and orange and then I was thinking of doing a rainbow on black so and then that'll end off this series all right so let's get started paint I'm going to be using is Oxide Black by Amsterdam, okay? And then the colors I am using are Pearl Sunrise Yellow by Arteza. Then I have Primary Yellow by Amsterdam. Then I have Pearl Yellow by Amsterdam. Then I'm going to throw in some 24 karat gold because it's kind of yellowish, so why not? <clears throat> then I have Pearl Canary Yellow by Arteza and then a paint I have not used in such a long time, um, Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue by Liquitex Basics. 
I actually never use Liquitex Basics or Artist Loft anymore because I just really prefer my Amsterdam paints. However, this is a nice dark color and I really liked it. I do have a dark color. Here, let me reach up here. I do have a dark color, but I just feel like this one's darker. Um, and I don't have this mixed in a Loli Vefi bottle yet, but this one is uh, Azo Yellow Medium. So, oh wait, I lied, I do have a darker one. I do. This one, I got duct tape on it because when it got shipped to me, it was cracked. But yeah, actually that would have worked too. So you could also use Azo Yellow Deep. Um, but again, I don't have this mixed in a Loli Vefi bottle yet. Um, so maybe I'll do that one day, but for now I will use the Liquitex Basics brand. And so this paint in here is probably about mm, three to four years old and it's still perfectly fine. I don't have to add water to it. These Loli Vefi bottles are super airtight and that's why I really like these bottles because you can have paint in them for years and it'll still be fine. You don't have to adjust them. You don't have to put water in it. I've used them before and they're fine. So for anyone who's interested in purchasing Loli Vefi bottles, link is in the description below and you can save 10% off your bottles using code CANELA10. All right, so let's put these back in order. I'm going to flood my canvas and I will be right back. All right, canvas is flooded, bubbles have been popped. So let's check out these pretty yellows. All right, so start here. I'm really liking this series. You know, the purple one has sold, but I still have the rest. Now, like I said, the browns and the turquoise I may have come down too far on that. Oh, it's all right. Um, those were done on different size canvases, but had I have done all the colors on 14 by 14s, and I, you know, I still have them all by the time I'm done the series, how cool would it look to have them all up on the wall, uh, starting with you know the rainbows? So Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo violet um but then also there's pink in there as well obviously but it still looked pretty neat i think but um i think i'm actually going to ship some of them off to boy to seattle um because there's going to be in a gallery there where everyone's bringing some of their art to sell so i think i'm going to ship some of them off to seattle um unless someone buys them before i do that um, I still also have paintings available. If you saw two videos ago, uh, I do have that 50% off sale. Um, those are all shown at the end of the video. I can't remember which one. I think it's the blue, dark blue video. Um, but yeah, I show at the very end of the video the um, paintings that I have that are available that are on sale for 50% off. So if you are interested, go check that out or just email me and I will send you pictures of what I have. All right, there's the yellow. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's uh, pop the bubbles first. Oh, I didn't even plug in my hair dryer. All right, I'm kind of creeping over to the edge there. All right, got my hair dryer. Whoa. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm gonna start here. Yeah, why not? I'm, I'm a little close. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Let's see what happens.
Okay. I got completely thrown off right from the first blow because as soon as I did this blow, I could see a chunk of something in my paint and it completely threw me off. And I, like, it's, oh man, I'm afraid to like mess with it now too much, but I know there's some goober in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I need tweezers. Hold please. Um, as soon as I blew it, I could see the paint going wonky because of there's this big goober in here. Ugh, that really never happens to me. All right, and then I kind of mumbo jumbled up here. However, I'm really liking it. So what I think I want to do though, is I want to fidget with this a little bit. I want to put black negative space because I think it's too yellow. Um, I love this. I love how the black came into this petal over here. Um, but yeah, I think I want to add some black in here. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to first open the lid and add black like that. Okay, and then Okay, I like that way better. So now I kinda gotta do the same thing on this side. So I don't like all this white here. I think it looks not very good. So I'm just going to scrape a little bit of that off like that. Add my black like so and blow this part. Okay, so that fixed that, but now don't forget, you gotta scrape off your edges because I had, there was yellow going and white going down the side here. Now it won't match if you leave it like that. So as much as you take care of the top, you gotta make sure it matches on the side or else it's gonna look super silly. All right, so just a little dabbing, no rubbing, just dab, dab, dab. Okay, that takes care of the side. Now I'm worried these here might touch, so I'm just going to add a little extra black just to hopefully keep them apart. Aside from that, I think it's pretty, and I'm really glad I, I put the dark yellow on top, but there's like that neon yellow in here. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about this really thick stripe here, but it is what it is. There's an air bubble here. There we go. I think that's it. I think I'm going to leave it now. Yes, I am. All right, I'm going to touch up the rest of my edges. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So don't forget to take your stick and you want to scrape all the drips. Do all four sides, come back 10 minutes later, do it again and then a third time. All right, so let's check this out. Now I'm noticing I didn't do a lot of gold, so I think once I turn the lights off and turn the flash on, we'll see that gold shimmer because I don't really see it right now, but I'm really liking the yellow. I think I'll do, well, there's orange or green next, so I'll leave it as a surprise. So let's check it out with the flash on. All right, this is so bright. This yellow is insane. So yes, there's the gold. Okay, so definitely got the shimmer in there. And that's why I added the 24K by DecoArt. I really love it. And because it's kind of yellowish anyway, it really worked in this painting. So there's definitely gold shimmer in here. Let's go over here. I'll actually, there's going to be a lot of it right down here. So, yep, lots of shimmer. And there you go.
you have it everyone. I would love to know what you guys think about this sunshiny yellow painting. It's going to be a bright sunshiny day. Not today. It's raining yet again. Um, what is it? April showers, May flowers. Good lord. Um, yeah, it's a crummy day again outside. But anywho, um, let me know what you guys think about this piece. Do you like it? And then, I, like I said, orange or green next. You'll just have to wait and see. So if anyone is interested in this piece, you can email me at canalosoraco at gmail.com. And don't forget to check out the information for uh, Seattle, Washington and for Vegas. Again, in the description below. So that is it for me for now. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.